Hey guys, I am going to show you all about the portfolio page on the newest version of Squarespace, which is Squarespace 7.1. So if you're using that version or if you are curious about using a switching over to 7.1, this is a feature that was not available um, before now on the older versions of Squarespace. So it's similar to a blog page, and I'm going to show you a few examples um, so that you can kind of see what the differences are and what's possible. So this is a, a portfolio page that I created just for my photography page. And as you can see, I was able to add a banner image um, up top, and then I have the albums listed down here. And what's special about a portfolio page on any template that you choose is they have these hover effect options. You can change exactly how this looks and the size of the thumbnail images and everything like that. So let me show you a couple more examples. This is another um, example of a portfolio page that I created for a client who's selling photography prints. And so this is acting as like a shop. So he has his set to where the title shows when you hover over the thumbnail and it shows in this little bottom left hand corner. And then here's another one for a wedding planner that we did where all of these thumbnails are square and the titles are actually listed below the image. Um, yeah, so now let me show you what it looks like when you click into one of these galleries. So this client has her set up where she has the title and the description up top of each gallery and then she actually was able to add a video and i'm showing you this to say basically you can style these pages however you want whereas on a blog page you're often restricted to a certain width of the screen on every like every blog post has to have basically the same format across your site but in a portfolio album, each album can have a completely different layout of its own. So in this one, she chose to do a square grid of all the images. And then at the bottom, she adds more information. She added the vendors for this wedding. And you could keep adding and adding however much you want to this page. It's basically like any other page in Squarespace, but there's a gallery in the middle. Now, the other great thing about the portfolio pages is it does act like a blog in that you can click on through to the next gallery um, once you get to the bottom of the page. And so let's look at another example. Let's go back to this photo print shop and let's click into one of these albums. So the way that he has this set up is it's actually like a product page. So there's just one image at the top and then he has the description, all of the product info down here. And then you can once again, flip through to the next print uh, if you're interested in continuing to browse. And then back to my photography page, if we click on one of these albums, you can see that I actually didn't include any like extra information on mine. I just use it as a plain old gallery. But in this case, you can see the formats a little different. So this is a masonry gallery where none of the photos are being cropped. And it has like that um, alternating layout a little bit. And then once you get to the bottom, you can see where you can flip through. So in contrast, just as a reminder, this is an example of a blog page in Squarespace 7.1. So it's a little different than a portfolio just because there's no hover effects when you scroll over the thumbnails. And it's going to also show like a title and an excerpt and a read more and whatever, like you can show the categories and the date and the author if you want to underneath each thumbnail. So. Um, just depending on what the purpose is, it's really good. The portfolio is really better a lot of the time for showing off um, full galleries of where the images are the focus. And so 
Now let's look at how to set one of these up in the back end of Squarespace. So all you would need to do is click on one of these plus signs to add a page. And in the little pop-up, you'll see the option that says portfolio. So when you click on that, it's going to create some sample albums for you. And here is my example right here. It's um, going to list all the albums from top to bottom. And like I said, each one can be edited individually with its own layout, with its own style of grid. So let me show you what that looks like. <clears throat> Okay, so if I click edit on this page, just like you would with any other page in Squarespace 7.1, you can add a section above the gallery, you can add sections at the bottom, you can add as many sections as you want. And then within the gallery itself, you would just click on this little image thumbnail, or I mean image icon, and this is where you can add your photos in, you can delete them, you can rearrange them. You can add a description and choose whether or not you want that description to show underneath each image. And you can also add a link to, once you click on a particular image, it would link to some other page. So you have those options. And then for the style settings, you can click on this little pencil icon. And this is where you see that I selected the masonry layout for mine, but you can also make it a simple grid where it's just like, a bunch of squares. You can turn it into a slideshow. There's different slideshow options. And then you can choose if you want it to take up the full width of the page or not. You can choose how many columns you want to be. Um, and then how much space you want to have in between each one of the images. This is where you turn off and on the captions showing underneath the image. You can change the fading or just choose no animation. And then last but not least, if you want the, each of the images to be clickable so that you can view them larger, you would just turn on the light box option. And I'll show you how that looks in just a second after I save the page. And then you can also go to the colors tab and you can change the background of just this section. Okay, so let me save the page and show you what the light box looks like real quick and this will like i said allow people to view the images up close so now you can see that the little um the little magnifying glass appears so if you click on that then you'll be able to just flip through all the images using these arrows or just x out of it okie dokie and then the last thing i think i would add is Something that's really nifty is if you create an album and you really like the format that you've created, you can just go over to it, uh, to the dots next to it, go to the settings, scroll down and hit duplicate. And that will make sure that you have like a template that you can always work from uh, each time you create a new album. So that is it on portfolio pages in Squarespace. I really love them. I love the added flexibility and the little hover animations that it has. So let me know if you have any questions about how you can use this or customize this. And yes, I hope this was helpful. See you next time.